Hi everyone, I'm Nitin and today in PSLE Science, I'll be going through the digestive system, important questions and answers, okay? And if you have not watched my previous video, please go ahead and watch that video first. Okay, in important questions and answers, I've actually went through most of this in my previous video, but today I'll be going through the important questions and how you answer them, okay? So the first question, where does digestion take place? So let's answer that. So this is the digestive system and the parts of the digestive system that digest food, there are three parts, the mouth, the stomach and the small intestine. Let me label the parts now. Okay, so over here, there's the mouth. Over here, there's the stomach. And over here, all of this thing over here is the small intestine. Okay, so this question has been answered. Question number two. So the order in the amount of digestion in each part that digests and why? Okay. So this is the digestive system. So order in the amount of digestion in each part that digests and why. Okay. So the amount of digestion carry out. So in the mouth, that's actually the least. And here's the parts and organs that digest. So in the mouth, that's actually the least digestion. Okay. In the stomach, there's actually some. So it's basically like the mid range. And in the small intestine, there's the most digestion, okay? So you need to understand this. And the part where we answer why. Why is because of the amount of digestive juices. In the mouth, there's the least amount of digestive juices. That is why there's the least amount of digestion. In the stomach, there is some digestive juices. That's why there is some in the stomach. And in the small intestine, there's the most. So that is why there's the most digestion in the small intestine. Okay? So I hope you understand my explanation. Let's move on to the next question. Where does absorption take place? Okay. So where does absorption take place? So basically the parts of the digestive system that absorb into the bloodstream, so absorb blank into the bloodstream, basically the small intestine and the large intestine. The small intestine actually absorbs the digested food, so let me just write it over here. Small intestine absorbs digested food. Okay? So first, I'm going to go through the small intestine. So the small intestine, it digests food. So it, the digested food is absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. Okay, so this is basically what the small intestine does. So the digested food is absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. Okay? Next one, the large intestine. So the large intestine actually, let me write it down, large intestine, it absorbs, it absorbs excess water and mineral salts, okay? So you need to know this. So what does the large intestine do? The large intestine, it excess water and mineral salts from the undigested food is absorbed through the walls of the large intestine into the bloodstream. See how the freezing is really similar. You just need to write what is being absorbed and, and you just need to write through the walls of the small or large intestine into the bloodstream, okay? So from the undigested food, because the small the small intestine actually digests and 
it ends here the digestion ends here so after that becomes absorption starts okay so it starts so basically that is why that is why it is absorbed from the undigested food okay so i hope you understand that okay so that is basically the answering technique for the large intestine now let's move on so where does absorption take place now you need to combine the two answers into one so where does absorption take place we still haven't answered the full question right so let me give you the perfect answer so the question where does absorption take place so digested food is absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream okay so this is the small intestine one after that excess water and mineral salts from the undigested food is absorbed through the walls of the large intestine into the bloodstream so basically both of the answers are just placed together okay so i hope you understand that now let's move on to the next segment so question four which parts of the digestive system have more blood vessels and why so let's answer this question so which parts of the digestive system the digestive system have more blood vessels and why so parts of the digestive system that have more blood vessels okay is basically the small intestine and the large intestine okay because that is where the things are absorbed into the bloodstream okay and you can recall that the parts of the digestive system that absorbed into the bloodstream is also the small intestine and the large intestine so that is why we are also writing it small intestine and large intestine because of this into the bloodstream bloodstream contains blood vessels okay so that is why it is linking back okay so i hope you understand now let's move on so here's the question which parts of the digestive system have more blood vessels and why so let's answer it now so first we have to state down the parts the small intestine and the large intestine after that we give a conclusion so having more blood vessels allows the digestive food at the small intestine and excess water and mineral salts at the large intestine to be absorbed faster into the blood vessels and be transported away faster through the blood vessels to all parts of the body okay so let me just explain so having more blood vessels is the cause right and this actually allows the digested food at the small intestine and the excess water and mineral salts at the large intestine to be absorbed faster into the blood vessels and it will be transported away faster through the blood vessels to all parts of the body okay and this is for respiration and what does respiration do release energy okay please go and watch my previous video and my video on cell systems in order for you to learn what does respiration mean properly as well okay so mainly watch the cells video okay so this is the end of the question important questions and answers video and i hope you have learned some important and questions and some really good answering techniques and i hope you can apply this answering technique into certain questions and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye